What's up guys, this is Silly Goose, and I'm going to be showing you my Sony Vegas render settings to show you mostly 1080p 60 frames per second render settings. And uh, we're going to get started here by clicking on the Project Properties button, have it set to 1920 by 1080 and I have my frame rate set to 30. If you want to work in 60 frames per second, just click this down here. But I like to keep mine on 30 frames per second just for working in the timeline. Even if I'm later I'm rendering out at 60 frames per second, um, I just like to keep this on 30. Uh, make sure your full resolution render quality is on best and motion blur type is on Gaussian blur. Apply and hit click OK. Next, you're going to want to disable resampling, so right click on your clip, go to switches and disable resampling. That'll get rid of the ghosting on your clip and make it look nice and clean. Then we're going to want to add some color correction to this clip to make it look better. So go to color corrector, drag that on. And uh, I like to make my saturation 1.150. And uh, you can also copy and paste that onto gain and uh, just leave gamma the same. Offset is sort of brightness and contrast, so just mess around with this because your clip might be darker or brighter than mine, but I have mine on around negative 15 or negative 20, so just mess around with that to get it to look good. The other effect you're gonna wanna add is sharpen, so go down to sharpen, drag on the default, and I have mine at 0 0.125. You can have this number lower, um, but I wouldn't go any higher than 150 um, because the high once you start pushing it higher, it's just going to start looking like poop and you don't want that. So now that we have our clip looking good, we can go to render as now. Uh, make sure match project settings is unchecked and look for the main concept AVC slash AAC MP4 file type. Uh, just go down to Internet HD 1080p. We'll start with that and click on customize. If you're rendering in 720p, just click on HD 720, and if you're rendering at HD 1080p, click on that. I'll click on 1080p. Make sure allow source to adjust frame size is unchecked. Profile on main. If you're rendering at 30 frames per second, just click this down here. And if you want 60 frames per second, change this to 59.94. And also make sure this is unchecked as well. Keep field order on non-progressive and keep everything else here the same. Click on variable bitrate and change this to 14 million and 14 million. If you're rendering at 720p, if you're rendering at 1080p, change these to 20 million each. We're going to go to the audio tab, have sample rate on 48,000 and have your bit rate at 320,000. And uh, go to project tab right here. Just change this to best and uh, you're all set. If this tutorial helped you, please give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching.